What I will show in this short tutorial is how to use the fade in and fade out on music clips or sound effect clips. Uh, voice clips do not have a fade in or fade out. The first thing we'll do is on the music track we'll import a clip. I have a clip that was originally 12 and a half seconds long. I use an external program to split that into two pieces. The first piece being five seconds long. So we now have that imported. Then at that point when the music is done, I'm going to have uh, our friend Eddie here on the stage say something. So I will import a WAV file a voice clip that I have pre-recorded for him. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for the show to start. So let's get going. And then when he's done talking, we'll play the second half of the clip that I split. So we go back to the music track and import the second half of that. So now we have all our sound and voice in here. What we want to do now is go back to the first clip in the music track and select that. Then we can click on the music modify button. Now what this does is it provides a volume, a fade in and fade out for each clip in the music or sound effects tracks. Each clip has its own fade in, own fade out, and own volume control. You can decrease the volume, but you cannot increase the volume. So you must have your clip set at a high enough level volume that if it is too loud, you can decrease it with the, the volume control setting. So this first clip, we want it to fade out before, the, before Eddie starts speaking there. So we'll set it to a 10%, which if the clip is approximately 150 uh, frames long, that's going to be about 15 frames it's going to fade out, which is about half a second before Eddie starts talking. Now, a lot of people make a mistake that this is frames and, and neglect to see that it's really a percentage of the clip length. Now, 10% of this clip, which is 150 frames long, is going to be different than 10% of a, a 500 frame length sound clip. So keep that in mind. Now on to the second clip here. We want this to fade in, so we click on that and we notice that the clip name we've selected is the one we just clicked on. And now we're going to make the fade in here about 15%. And now we have set the fade in and fade out in the two clips. Uh, this clip also you can take, you can slide these clips around in here, you can move it back a little bit so it overlaps the actor speaking. So it just starts coming up as the actor finishes. And that's all there is to it. Now let's go back and play the whole thing and see what it sounds like. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for the show to start. So let's get going. And that's it. That's using the fade in and fade out on a music or sound effects track.